What's going on, folks? It's your boy Hat Free Speaks. I'm going to go ahead and jump in today with Brooks and Dunn. And this song's called Believe. It's the official music video. So, yeah, you know, first time listen, first time reaction, all that good stuff. And I get to share that with you for the first time. So, I would be humbly grateful if you do not mind subscribing, leaving a comment, even giving the video a like, because slowly but surely, those things do help as we progress through the sands of time. So, uh, don't know what the song's about, looking forward to it, and I can see the thumbnail, uh, your man, don't know if it's Brooks or Don, does look a bit like Chuck Norris. But with that said, let's jump in without further ado. Old man Wrigley lived in that white house down the street where I grew up Mama used to send me over with things We struck a friendship up Spent a few long summers Out on his old porch swing Said he was in the war, went in the Navy Lost his wife Lost his baby Broke down and asked him one time How you keep from going crazy He said, I see my wife and son in just a little while I asked him what he meant He looked at me and smiled Said, I raised my hand Tell me that there's more to life than just what I can see. Oh, I believe. Mm -hmm. A few years later, I was off at college, talking to mom on the phone one night, getting all caught up on the gossip. Ins and outs of the small town life She said, oh, by the way, son mm, Old man Wrigley's died Later on that night I laid there thinking back Thought about a couple long lost summers I didn't know whether to cry or laugh There was ever anybody Deserved a ticket to the other side It'd be that sweet old man Who looked me in the eye Said I raised my hand Tell me that there's more to life than just what I can see. I can't quote the book, the chapter or the verse. You can't tell me it all ends in a slow ride in a hearse. You know I'm more and more convinced the longer yeah, this can't be, no, this can't be, no, this can't be all there is. Lord, I raise my hands, bow my head. Oh, I'm finding more and more truth in the world. I 
I believe. I believe. I ain't gonna lie, that's left me uh, choked up. <clears throat> that was moving, um, mainly because the, f the bloody video's amazing. What an absolutely, um, that's country music, folks. Storytelling at its finest. I've said that from day one since I've sort of been listening to a bit of country music here on the channel. The Garth Brooks, uh, to name but a few, and Chris Stapleton and all that good stuff. But that actually choked me up. And it, this ain't all about me. I've heard that one, uh, but it's 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 it's. I felt for the kid because those are memories he has, and the the greatest thing about the memories is the fact that he honoured them. He didn't he didn't forget his past, and it allowed him. Like the guy said, the ins and outs of a small country town. You know, it's amazing you know the the fact that there's that respect for somebody that's not even a blood relative a neighbor a neighbor who actually was considerate enough to let the young man sit in his porch and share some stories you know just once in a blue moon and i was watching it from the perspective of the fact that and i'm going to share so i don't really share private stuff here on the channel not too often but my um grand what do you guys call him grandpa granddad grandfather whatever right at the moment uh I've got two of them still alive one of them actually is not in 100 percent condition right at this moment in time so i don't know if he's on his last thread don't i really don't know but i've just heard that he's not feeling well and um i, sh I should give him a call so which i've not done yet <laughs> which i've not done um i think i should anyway yeah and i just remembered like i was like holy moly you know and i was just like that actually took me back to when I was a little kid. I was thinking, oh, there's little moments. Even we didn't get to speak now and we don't get to interact that much. I mean, you know, I want to say we grew apart. We kind of have and did, but it's one of those things where you're like, oh yeah, this guy back then put in the time for me. This guy actually uh, made sure that I was taken care of and stuff like that. So it's only when you have like a moment, uh, a gap to actually reflect and, and have that moment and have that mental space capacity to sort of process it you can appreciate the smallest things uh, that may not have been so visible may not have been so visible at the start so that was amazing that was amazing uh whew, wow that was something else eh uh what did the comments got to say i've listened to this song a thousand times and i still get chills every time my mama died this past christmas morning she had dementia, but she knew every single word to the song. She rocked side to side while she sang it. Thank you, Brooks and Dunn, for our, for our beautiful memories. <sighs> Somebody's wrote, this is one of the most beautiful songs of all time. It gives me chills. Yeah. When the guy says, don't worry about my wife and my baby boy. I'll, I'll be seeing them pretty soon. And he asked him, well, what do you mean by that? And the guy smiled. <laughs> yeah. Believe. It makes you it makes you it makes you wonder what is after our experience here what we experience here with people around us the joys of music our cultural like peak is art music or oh, these are oh, these are the highest forms of creativity that we have as humans because if it is we're supposed to add to it we're supposed to add more we're supposed to develop further because that's the way things work, you know. Um, but what is the end game? What is the actual end game? Yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things, isn't it, folks? The meaning of life and all that good stuff. But I'm pretty sure, give it a few years, let AI give you those answers, eh? <laughs> all right, folks, make sure you are staying safe and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.